All right, good morning cattle country. Welcome back to another episode of Farm and Ranch Hacks. I'm Cody Ward, and with us today we have... There we go, close. Russell Ward, I'm the long lost ugly cousin. And I'm Kelly. Today, we're gonna put in some gates. We got 14 foot overheads going in, and we called in the muscle Lieutenant Russell Ward, the United States Navy to uh, come in and pick up some heavy objects. So that's what we're gonna do today. Russell is a pilot in the United States Navy, so it only seems fitting that we'd make him drive the equipment. We wouldn't want him out here hurting himself too bad. He's never operated this machine before, so probably going to take him just a minute. Oh, look at Champ. As you can probably see already, we've measured this right so here. that we will hang a gate off of the hole that's being dug right now. It will be able to swing all the way around, clear to the left, clear to the right. Should be a thing of beauty if we do it right. It's a slider, I think. Other direction. Yeah, there you go. And you may, you may tilt forward a little more because you're not quite hanging straight up and down. There you go. Yep. There you go. Perfect. We weren't hoping to get very much done today anyway. Any day you're pouring hydraulic fluid out on the ground, not necessarily the best day. All natural organic hydraulic, flu yeah. hydraulic fluid, obviously. For those of you environment butt kissing uncle heads. Did you just say uncle heads? Uncle heads, butt heads, <laughs> butt uncle heads. Yeah, uh, this was entirely... Why are you my... taking both of them off? Because I need to get another hose made just like this one. Oh. Uh, this is entirely my fault. We have a new set of hoses. It will not go on. I like to get everything covered in hydraulic fluid to make sure I don't stay too clean. Uh... And one is broken. We got a broken, uh, I need to keep that straight. Great. That one has more fluid on it. Yeah. We got it on video. Which is which? <laughs> well, not now that you dropped that one. No, I'm good. I think it's this one. We'll rewatch it. Anyway, we need another set of hoses made. We have another set of hoses ready to go just without the right fittings. Uh, and we're not gonna be able to do any digging without some new hoses. So we're just gonna take these off and go get new ones. Well, these are the things that happen. So I'm headed to John Deere and Prague to go get new hoses. Kelly and Russell are gonna try and keep making some progress and we'll just keep on keeping on. And just like that, with the magic of YouTube, 30 seconds later, problem solved. Never mind the trip to Napa and the trip to John Deere. As noted on previous videos, if you show up and like to use post hole diggers, you are invited. Come on. 
Let me also mention, if you show up and like to use post hole diggers for free, favorite person has arrived, the lunch lady. Yes, she was driving grandma's lunch wagon. Pack the lunch lady mobile. And here's a rare sight, Cody doing some work. Yeah, that's the guy who drove the skid steer. And wrapped drinks. There are drinks. My next trick. You guy, if you're watching our YouTube videos, we love you. Charlie Barron's is the man too, but we're not on that level. This is just rednecks making corral. It's always something. Got real close. 101, everybody's hot. And our illustrious welder ran out of fuel. Both me and the welder. So, Kelly is off to get fuel. But we've made some real progress. Some of what is standing up here is not actually up. It's just sitting there. But it's starting to look like a pen now. We're gonna get up there and finish off the last of the welding. This little guy here will get knocked off the torch when we get done. But yeah, I can start to see it now. You be sorting you some wild bremers for the day is over, Russ. <laughs> That's right. We're getting there. It's hot. Woo. Gas. Kelly has it. He brought gasoline too. Now that is a good sign. She gone. We're done. It's all welded up. It's primarily a big thanks to Lieutenant Russell Ward, American hero in action. It's a award hero. War hero, we uh, we appreciate your help, sir. This has been a long day. Okay. Kelly, is it too cold out here for you? Yeah. Yep. It needs to be about 10 degrees hotter. More humidity. Fewer clouds. It was hot. Or the opposite of all the clouds. We saw 101 on the truck thermometer. That's that's plenty, especially when you're running a welder. So. 
Until next time, mamas, don't let your babies grow up to be liberals. The shake, the lean and push, the grandpa zip. Perfect form, 10 out of 10.